Hey everybody, it's Steve Spangler. It's National Static Electricity Day. How could we not post something for National Static Electricity Day? Uh, quick thing that I want to show you how to be able to make things float in the air. It's super, super simple. It's not going to cost you a lot. Uh, some simple things that you're going to need. I'm using a plastic bag, the thinnest little plastic bag from the grocery store possible. Cut it into these loops. So just kind of cut a section of it off and uh, got these loops. A uh, piece of PVC, that's going to be really, really important. Piece of wool for something like that to be able to build up uh, electrons. And the only thing that's kind of special is I have this little stopper. It's a rubber stopper that goes on the end here with a piece of wood. I just want to make sure that none of this will transfer the charge to this over here, all right? So static electricity is the buildup of those electrons or those charges. So I'm going to start by doing this. I'm going to take one of the little pieces of, uh, of plastic here and uh, build up uh, a charge on it a little bit like this. See if that's enough. It could be. It's looking pretty good. And now we're going to build up a charge on the pipe. You can actually hear it. Yeah, it's starting to build up. And now the trick is to pick it up like this, not touch it, throw it into the air. It's, oh, look at this. There is the float. So now you've got the repulsion of the two charges, right? A buildup of electrons on the band, a buildup of electrons here on the, uh, the piece of pipe, and a wonderful way to have your floating band. Now you can try it with a whole bunch of different materials. You can try it with the, uh, uh, the metallic strips. You can try it with a different type of uh, plastic tube if you want to. But what a great way to be able to show static electricity and a wonderful idea from Bruce Yaney with the floating band. All right, thanks for subscribing to the channel. As always, check out our Spangler Science TV and Six Science. And uh, for a write-up of this and other experiments, visit stevespanglerscience.com.